Hello and welcome to the College Football Week 5 Saturday Slate Breakdown for Lamps.com. I'm your host, Matthew Amato, joined here by Patrick Monin, Jason Gilbo, and Jacob Wayne. Next game, LSU at Auburn, an SEC historically good matchup this year. Uh, the lines literally moved two points today in favor of LSU. I think the money is just flowing in on the Tigers. It's now up to minus nine for the road favorites. Patrick, how do you feel about it? Yeah, it's a lot of movement. I, I do like LSU here. TJ Finley experience is finally over for Auburn fans, so it's worth some celebration, but that still doesn't solve the issues that they've had on this offensive line. Giving up 4.8 yards of play, 99th in the FBS, and this LSU defense, they have. I think they look pretty impressive so far, especially against the run, which is what Auburn will probably resort to on offense. Um and they also just haven't played well at home, Auburn has it this year. So I think you're looking at another sub-17 point performance from their offense. And this LSU offense, they do match up with this Auburn secondary. I like LSU. The movement's a little scary, but there's no way I'm taking Auburn in this game. So it's either going to be LSU or no bud. Yeah, I mean, the place I haven't seen too much movement on is the team total points. In, in the sense that Auburn has been 17 and a half seemingly all day. LSU just went up from 26 and a half to 27 and a half. So I like under 17 and a half team total points for Auburn. I think this offense is atrocious. I don't think 17 and a half is too low of a number. Like I, I think they would struggle to score 17 against most defenses. I think LSU is above average. So give me that. I, I don't care. That's at minus 120. I don't care that Auburn's at home. I think it's just the play calling's bad, the talent's bad, they're going to be outmatched in this one. LSU should probably hold the time of possession pretty well in this game. Like, I'm most scared about a random backdoor cover, but even then, I, I don't even think they'll be in position to do so, um, unless LSU's just blowing them out. So maybe I can take some coverage with the LSU minus 9 or a live bet or something like that, but I really like under 17.5 for Auburn. Jason? Uh, the value is just completely gone on this game if you were really looking to back LSU. Um, I mean, I still think they win this game. It's You're, you're getting a weird number at nine um, on the road in an SEC game. I mean, Patrick said it. like that. The, the, the Finley experience was poor, and Ashford's not much better. Um, I mean, 106 in EPA per play this year, and they don't have really a strong defense to fall back on. Uh, I also like that Jane Daniels looks, you know, like he's got his feet under him here as well. You know, had that heartbreaker, obviously, against Florida State in the opener. Haven't played, like, tremendous opponents since, but, you know, Mississippi, Mississippi State's decent enough. Um, I don't know. I just, I, I probably, I don't know. I just, I just don't love betting, like, a nine-point spread on the road, but, like, Auburn's so bad. Um <laughs> I mean, I get yeah, this, Jason, for you because you're looking at how bad Auburn is, and then you just see Brian Kelly's name under the head coach slot for LSU, and that's, that's part of it too. It's part of it too. I mean, I think they control the clock. Um, I would be traumatized personally, so I, I, I completely understand your unwillingness to uh, to back either team, Jacob. How is the spread not hit ten yet? I don't understand. When I this is the first spread I bet this week was uh, LSU minus seven and a half. Obviously, seen some movement, but I mean, this Auburn team is horrible. They were down to their fourth string quarterback and third string center last week. Their offensive lines had a ton of issues. Now they have to play, some def play a defensive line that has BJ Ojolari, Jacqueline Roy, Harold, Harold Perkins, ranks 18th in pass rush grade per PFF. And Auburn, I mean, they just should not have won last week against Missouri. They had a 9% post game win expectancy per SP. And Missouri missed that chip shot field goal at the end of regulation, fumbled at the goal line, and, like, I mean, they just gifted Auburn that win. But the Brian Harson experience is almost over for Auburn fans. This might be the final nail in the coffin for him, but, I mean, it's just a total mismatch everywhere you look. LSU now ranks 10th in EPA per play on offense, and Jane Danis has found his footing, like Jason said. But, I mean, I just don't see any reason to back Auburn in this spot. I mean... Their players have probably already given up on Brian Harson too. Like, the, the vibes are bad. The defense is bad. The offense is bad. I mean, it, it's LSU all the way for me. Last time I was this confident in something and a team giving up, Wyoming upset Air Force. So, I I feel I, I'm just going to throw that out there. But uh, minus nine for Jacob. 
I think we're all leaning the minus nine. Jacob's the one who's actually very confident enough to uh, wager it. And again, like I said, I think you can still find, like, what, what do you guys think? I want to hear your opinion on the under 17 and a half for Auburn. Like, I feel like if you're that confident, you could just go with that. How how is Auburn's offense score eighteen points? No, that, that's perfectly fine with me too. They they scored fourteen yeah. points in the first quarter against Missouri, and then didn't score again until yeah, the overtime just... when they were already in field goal range to get the field goal. <laughs> so, dude, this, they're just a, they're a horrible football team. They got destroyed by at home by Penn State. Like Penn State is good, but they're not that much better than LSU. So I don't know. I, I just don't. I think Auburn's hor- horrible. I don't think this LSU defense is pretty good. So you're kind of getting that added bonus of. Auburn really sucks that bad, and then LSU's decent, so yeah, I would take it. All right, well, Auburn fans, we're so excited to hear from you in the comments. Just gonna wrap it up as always. Thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and hit the like button if you like this video, dislike if you didn't. Comment down below your favorite bets for the Saturday slate of games. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of these kinds of videos. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Take it easy.